coming off the loss, going looking ahead to the yep. Dolphins, what's kind of the big message of the conversations you're having with your team this week? Well, this was a great opportunity to get in here this morning and to get back um, – you know, at it, I mean, you put a lot into it every week, and uh, sometimes you put a lot into it, and, and you lose, and you lose a close game, and that's disappointing, but you got to pick yourself back up. You got to, you know, you got to answer the bell, and we have to, uh, you know, nobody's going to feel sorry for us, especially the Dolphins, and it's a very good football team, but we have to get ready and prepare, and, you know, a lot of different looks, so there's a lot to cover. Uh, I think it's just a, you know, it's a process and, a, you know, just didn't work out. And uh, I'm sure Monty will go on and, and have another opportunity and, you know, we'll we'll give other guys opportunities here. I guess Otis getting one of those opportunities, has he, he done good things for you on the practice? Yeah, line? I mean, he's, he did good things since he's been here. And, um, you know, he'll he'll be a, a guy that, that'll get some of those looks and, you know, signed – you know, Jojo Doman to see, you know, special teams uh, potentially help us there. And, you know, those are, those are things that, that we'll work through as the week goes on to to get the, the best 48, the right 48. What did you guys see out of Ty Zittner signing him to the practice squad in terms of maybe him coming up to, to punt? Well, well, athletic, um, you know, he can kick off, he can punt. Obviously, that's his number one role will be to, to punt. Um, you know, I had, had a bunch of guys in here and, you know, he, he did a great job considering the circumstances and the outside and the weather and you know, the competition and, you know, excited to work with him. He, he a holder as well? Yes, okay. yes. Five did that as ago, well. Five years ago today, Derek had his 99-yard run uh, against the Jags. What do you remember about that? And is it crazy that it's already been five years since that? Yeah, I think probably, run? yes, it's been – you know, I would say, yeah, that's crazy to think that that's been five years. Um, just that he's still running, he's still running. He's still, you know, I think he's getting tackled. He's still running. And I don't felt like the play lasted five years. So um, tremendous, uh, you know, individual effort. Great, great job by everybody to to get involved early to to get him going. And then, you know, what he did, you know, after that was on his own. So um, time flies. Does it run? Make plays, Mike? The challenge of the X plays this team is as difficult as anyone trying to defend those. Well, a lot of speed. You know, they've got um, you know a good scheme and a lot of speed, and you know the quarterback uh, to it does a fantastic job of being able to distribute the football. Um, and, and sometimes those those X plays are hands off handoffs. Sometimes they're they're short passes. It's not you know every single one. I mean, yeah, if you're you're pressed up on on. Um, you know, Tyreek, you can guarantee that it's going downtown, but it's not just throw it over your head every time. It's, you know, catch and run. It's good ball placement um, by the quarterback. Um, you know, and then guys, you know, breaking tackles and, you know, they they lead the league and, you know, miss tackles for. So those things will be critical once they have the ball in their hand. That's oh, always being so elite that, that they have, is that something that you obviously can't simulate it? So how do you, you know, Get ready for that. There's something like you just you get out there and it's like, oh, I, I didn't realize that you know, he was that fast. Well, we certainly won't be able to, uh, you know, replicate all the speed. I think that, you know, being in the right spots and, um, you know, being sound and, you know, all those things that'll play into the fact that, you know, once they have the ball in their hand, we're going to need some, you know, we're going to need some extra people, uh, you know, to help and to take great angles and, you know. Use your leverage and your help and all those different things that we talk about when tackling. Does Ryan remain the backup holder, and what's his practice regimen for that now? Um, yeah, I mean, I think we've had Gibby snap, you know, as a backup snapper. We've had, you know, Ryan holding at different times, and you know, I would, I would imagine that Ryan would continue in that regard. How, how often do you want him doing that? Uh, in the game, never, you know, I mean, I think making sure that, you know, those things are, you know, we're, we're covering some of those those outliers and making sure that, you know, there's a backup at every position, uh, snapper, holder, you know, emergency kicker, you know, the quarterback. So, you know, just making sure that those things are, you know, you know covered, uh, you know, once a week as we go into the game and, but also, 
you know, I would say that Ryan was um, pretty good in his job. That wasn't the reason that uh, you know, it felt like we, we missed a kick. Nick, Nick made it sound like it wasn't happening once a week heading into that game. Yeah, no, what I'm saying is whether it did or not, the, the, the snap and the hold, Nick Nick missed a kick. Nick's made a lot of kicks. And, you know, I, I, it was, um, I, I thought Ryan did it, did a really nice job and has done a nice job whenever we've asked him to do uh, that in practice or in the game. So, you know, hopefully uh, we'll, we'll be able to execute all those things and, and especially um, on, on Monday night. Tom, as a voice man, maybe at the start of the week is, is just kind of started new. On, on yeah, I mean, it's it's different. I mean, we're, we're in a different situation, but, uh, you know, Tom's got a lot of experience and looking forward to, you know, a great challenge. You know, we'll have to protect our, our punter. We'll have to check our returner. Uh, kicker when we kicked field goals and you know looking forward to uh, to that challenge. What stood out about their pass rush Miami's and, and kind of what has allowed them to have so much success this year? I mean, they, they go and win and guys inside you know they had a bunch of guys with you know with a handful of sacks six and a half seven sacks um, you know each I mean I, I mean, sit there and tell you how good Chubb is obviously he's done it for a lot of years Christian you know, Wilkins inside, you know, David will blitz. Um, you know, Van Ginkle can, can rush. He can you know, do games, execute games very well. So, um, yeah, they, they, they bring it from everywhere and everybody's uh, producing. What does it take for that for your offensive line to kind of counter that? Outside of blocking them, um, you know, just making sure that we're inside out, making a pocket like it is every week. And if they, you know, Sometimes the backs are going to be on linebackers. Like that's, you know, sometimes that's unavoidable. Like you have to step up and stay square and not drop our head. You know, there's a lot of examples of of guys blocking them. A lot of examples of um, you know guys winning and making a miss. With how much? With how, um, with how, how much? How does he look? You know, you see him wrapping up all the tackles. How does he look from you know what you've seen from him? I mean, David's uh, been active. You know, he runs around. He's you know instinctive. He triggers and. Um, you know, we'll have to block them. We'll have to, to block them uh, if we want to run the football. We'll have to block Baker. We'll have to block, you know, Wilkins and Siler and, you know, get on their support players and, you know, hopefully be able to carry over uh, what we did last week. He, he was one of the guys you pointed out as a repeat offender with soft tissue injuries. You see him there. He's healthy for pretty much uh, all of the year. Do you ever look at that and just say, like, <laughs> why is that? No. No, I meant – I think, you know, I'm not going to go back. You know, I mean, we just, you guys, you know, answering questions about injuries, just pointing out that, you know, when you list all the injuries that some of those guys had, uh, you know, the, the same injury. You know I mean? It came back and had the same injury. Um, you know, I really enjoyed my time with David. I, you know, I don't think that, you know, love coaching him. You know, I'm excited to, to see him. I'm happy for him. Of course, I'm. Happy for him. He's persevered here, and he's gone down, and you know, new opportunity, and they're, you know. So again, we, we're going to have to block them, and you know. But I think when you, you know, however it was phrased or said, it was just, it was the same injury. You know, what I mean, the guy was trying to come back and had the same injury, and you know, couldn't play. So that was, I guess, the answer to to my question. You know, at the time, it's, but we're going to have to block him if we want to. Gain some yards when we run the ball. With how, explosive, with how explosive the Dolphins' offense can be, how important is it for you guys to control the pace and the tempo of the game by having, you know, converting third downs, moving the chains, and not letting their offense have access to the ball? Very that would much? be, you know, that would be a great, you know, obviously, you know, I mean, if you can possess it and drive it, and you know, be able to do that, you know, Philly. You know, had it for 37 minutes, and again, time of possession. You know, just depends what you do with it. You know, Philly had some some mistakes, but they also possessed it. You know, for 37 minutes, and uh, that would be a, a great place to start if we can be able to, to convert and, and drive the football and and end those drives and points. Um, most importantly, would Will's percentage maybe down like it was on Sunday? Is there kind of an area there where like? Uh, he may be missing, but he's not missing dangerously. It's not resulting in turnovers. He's, he, he's yeah, we want to move the football. You know, I think that you know, we want to be as accurate and as efficient as possible. And you know, 
going back and, and looking at some of those that, you know, that, that we missed on or just, you know, giving guys a chance. And you know, there's also you know, a lot of really accurate, um, you know, good throws. And, you know, we have to help them out on you know, protection and, you know, being available and you know, being great spots. And then once in a while, you're going to have to make a good catch to, to help the quarterback out. So it, it's, it's a full body of work when you talk about, you know, completion percentage. Doesn't like seem it. like doesn't seem like many though that have been nearly picked off. Is is that a good sign? So getting into a little bit of a, your personal space, I feel. Yeah. Like. Yeah. Well, he needs to let somebody <laughs> follow up once in a while. Um, <laughs> yeah, certainly. You want to keep it out of harm's way. We've had we talked about it, Jackson. There's been a couple where, you know, we we've got to be careful. Um, but, you know, also, you know, if you're gonna miss, you got to miss where it's the the receiver or or nobody. I guess to, to your question. Along those lines, have there been plays when you've gone back and watched the film where there was a safer throw he could have made and you'd rather he do that than, than push it down the field a lot? Well, we want to push it. You know I mean? And if it's there, we want to go make a play. Um, but, you know, I think there will always be, you know, those opportunities. We talked about the, you know, mirrored route and he looked to Hopkins and they stayed on top of Hop and bid on Westbrook. And so – would like to him look right. I mean, I don't, you know, it's how it goes. At least he didn't try to come back and get the ball knocked out of his hands or throw into coverage. He, he threw it away. Have you ever seen a special team sequence as crazy as the last time you guys were down there as far as like back to back returns for a touchdown? You remember Jennings had his? Yeah, I, you know, I just, you know, I, I would like for us to be able to, to get one and not, not give up one or, you know, just focus on being real sound, protecting our kickers, protecting our returners. You know, we're only going to get, you know, one chance and 85% touchback rate. So um, just got to make it, you know, if they give us an opportunity to return, we'll have to, you know, try to create some, some field position and hopefully some momentum. And, you know, but that, you know, that's how it goes sometimes. How much of an emotional swing is that, right? Because you had Jennings get his and then Grant got his and just like. Well, again, I think one thing we always talk about with, with special teams is the ability to create some of that momentum and field position. And whether you have it, you have to keep it. And if you don't, trying to find a way to get a punt that gets you back to, to midfield on the plus side of the, the field to help the offense. And, you know, they score on you and you, know, you try to answer. You know, it doesn't always happen, but, you know, th those – <coughs> those special teams moments, um, you know, can be great ways to, to change momentum, keep momentum, you know, in field position. Coach, I'm curious if you watch the in-season hard knocks on the Dolphins, or if that's more cinema than film. Uh, I, I haven't, um, and I wouldn't be able to, you know, answer if that's cinema or film. You know what I mean? I was a part of hard knocks in, in Houston. Um, not you know, I'm, they have a job to do, and they try to make it as watchable as possible. And that have have you watched it? Yeah. <laughs> and you feel like it's cinema or film? Cinema. I, I'm not sure from your perspective. Uh, for me, I feel as though it's cinema. There you go. Cinema it is. You're still you're still encouraging regarding Derek. Sure. Or, okay. Absolutely. Coach, having the extra day with Monday Night Football, especially considering all the injuries. Healthy, yeah, I don't know if some of the injuries that that'll help, um, but the preparation we have to be able to use the preparation. You know, it's a longer week, and trying to to be smart with how much we we, we do on, on a speed and how much we show them, and, and try to alternate days and try to come up with the best plan that that's going to help them throughout the week to be prepared and then um, be ready to play. Do you expect to see more Traylon this week, and just in terms hopefully, of hopefully, yep. Okay. Are you going to be without Christian Houghton for extended time, or what's the? Yeah, Christian won't practice today. Stoney won't be out there. Uh, Wiley won't be out there. Simmons won't be out there. Joe Jones won't be out there. Mike, how much do you talk to Amy during the season? Is there like a typical schedule for that? And what has her her message to you and maybe the football team been during this time? Well, always supportive. Um, you know, our, our we are we don't have a set. There's not a set day, you know. I mean, I try to keep her updated. Rand keeps her updated, um, you know. And then, and when we talk, it's 
you know, we're all, you know, frustrated that we're in the position that we're in and we're all working hard, uh, extremely hard to, to figure a way out of it. Um, and, and so that there's a level of support uh, to what we're trying to do and always. You still have a full belief that this is going the direction she wants it to go? I've, you know, tried to answer those questions as consistently as possible. I'm focused on the football team, the players, you know, getting them ready. And, um, you know, that's, that's all I can focus on. Did you talk to her? Did she talk to you before the Aukerman decision? We talk regularly. No, after the game, you criticized the play and saying it's probably one of my worst games here in Titan uniform. After looking at the tape, you feel the same way? Oh, uh, yeah, pretty much. I mean, I just think that, you know, there were just certain throws that really I felt like could have changed the outcome of drives or games that I missed. And sure, I mean, maybe made better plays as a whole than comparison to some of the other games that I've played, but I was just more so looking at the missed opportunities. So uh, definitely still a little disappointed, but I think going back and watching it, never as bad as you think it is and felt like I you know, took a lot from it. Mike said that he wants you to push the ball down the field and but not put it in harm's way. How do you feel like you've done with that so far versus maybe taking the safer throw that's there? I think I've done a good job with it. I mean, just continuing to assess what I feel like is appropriate for the situation. Um, I think that's one of the improvements I've made, just even going back to even in college, just how I'm seeing it, assessing the risk and making the throw when I feel like it's necessary um, or applicable to the situation. So definitely areas to improve in there and, and how I'm seeing everything, but I just need to keep you know doing a good job of protecting the football. Uh, would, you, would you say like, your inaccuracy has been on the good side of the spectrum in that you haven't put the ball in a lot of danger and interceptions on For sure. There? Yeah, I think I've done. I've been relatively pleased with how how the balls came out of my hand, and I think just uh, that knee jerk reaction on Sunday was to just felt like you know just wasn't coming out as accurately or as wasn't putting it in the spots that I was wanting to as as, uh, as often as I wanted to. You know, what's been the exactly. biggest challenge on, on third downs? You think? Well, has it, has it been pressure? Has it been you know time? Has it been distance? What, what's been? Well, going back, I think not necessarily this past game, but just the operation of things of um, you know pushing us back five more yards or either not getting the snap off or not getting a, a protection call made um, clearly to the guys up front so that you know that, that pressure doesn't get there. Um, but going back to this game, you know, it's a combination of everything, but it's hard to really put my, my finger on one specific thing. But we did, I feel like we did well those first few games that I was playing in that thir those third down situations, and we saw that lull in these last couple of weeks. So we're making that a point of emphasis this week to continue drives. And it's funny how it just feels like you have like a 15 play drive or a three and out. And we're just trying to find ways to keep going on those 15 yard drive or 15 plays drives and keep giving our defense more the rest that they deserve. You talked before the Steelers game, how you kind of circled that one on the calendar, you know, Thursday night. <laughs> Are you looking forward to this one too, a Monday night playing Miami? Is this one you've kind of odd as well? For sure, yeah. And I knew that we only had a couple, you know, primetime games for the season. And so knowing that we had, you know, Monday night football in Miami, especially uh, expecting them to be a, a solid team, which they which they definitely are. And we're excited to go out there and, and, and compete with them. But um, Monday night football doesn't get much better than that. I've been watching it since a kid and being able to go out there on that stage for the first time is going to be really special. How has the process been for you as far as like staying away from playing hero ball and like trying to win the game? The whole game on one throw, you know, kind of realizing the journey's over, living to see another play, all those cliches. How's that been? I think it's just knowing that w my role within the team is, you know, just being the quarterback and doing my job. Whereas maybe in college, there are certain times like, you know, you can feel like you're supposed to be that guy on the field. You're supposed to be like the best player on the field, and, and you have to go and do things that, that equate to how people see you and how you feel about yourself. But I think I've just kind of relegated back to knowing my role and that I only need to do my role. And if I do need to, Maybe, or if there's an opportunity to do something a little extra to, to get a couple more yards and to, or to, to make a throw that might be a little riskier, but I know I can make. Um, it's just continuing to kind of understand in those situations and when it's necessary to um, not put the ball at risk, but, but you know, push the ball downfield or, or make plays with my legs and decisions uh, in, that, in that respect. So um, it's continuing with the reps that I get to you know, understand my role and get better within it. What did guys say to you in the aftermath of you forcing and recovering the fumble on Sunday after, in the aftermath of that play? What was their reaction? Uh, I was well, I had because I had taken off and I didn't hear the whistle and I came back, so it took me it took me a while to kind of get everyone get back and we were just all like, what the heck just happened? But I told him I was like, yeah, I was like, I think he fumbled it, like it's our should be our ball first down. Um, but no, we were just focused on continuing the drive and getting down there and scoring points. But um, I don't remember any specific pats on the back or anything. But, uh, your family say to you on the helicopter hit you took, uh, you know, when you ran, ran for the first down. Yeah, it's not the first time they've seen it. So, um, but um, you know, 
my mom definitely is worried about my safety out there sometimes. So got to make sure that I'm continuing to protect myself and uh, and not putting myself in harm's way. Who are the people that kind of, when you get down in a critical yourself, who are the people that kind of lift you up, whether that's here in this building or, or outside these walls? Yeah, I definitely got to thank my coaches in here and coaches and players that have just been able to lift me up after either, you know, games or drives or just even things in practice that have come up and been able to just bring me back to that neutral state that we got to stay. And um, I just got to thank my coaches, especially for that, to be able to just be those people who understand how my mind ticks. And now that I've spent some months with them, they know kind of my personality and, and how uh, you know I can react to certain things. And, and they've done a good job of understanding that and, and coaching me the right way. You seem to be fairly self-critical and demanding excellence from yourself, but you're also very confident in you know your work and your demeanor. Where did you kind of learn to balance criticizing yourself but remaining confident in your ability? Uh, I think it starts just with my upbringing, with you know my family, and uh, I'd say definitely my mom, and dad, and then my grandfather, who's definitely just a big proponent in my life of of instilling the values and that I live by today, and the and just making me the fierce competitor that I am. I feel like and um, keeping keeping you know respect and and even keelness and calmness. As a, as a priority while also having that fiery edge. And just it's going from being a young kid where that fiery edge kind of took the dominance in that respect, but getting older and, and even even in the out and understanding kind of like what to take from each and how to go go ahead and be the best leader and competitor that you can. I mean, touched on the, the conversation you had with, with DeAndre during the game last time. But as, as you look back at that, I wonder, any chance you think maybe could or, or should have been less demonstrative? You know what I mean? Not yeah, maybe I know. forgot I was on TV, but uh, yeah, but um, no, it's just one of those things that just happened. If I would have gone back, I would have been more neutral about it for sure. Um, but that's just part of the, you know, things about being an NFL quarterback and learning along the way of how to be a leader and how to get your guys going. But definitely would have handled it differently if I would have done it again. Well, you guys talked about flushing losses. Is the process any different coming off a game like that one in the way you go about doing that? Oh, yeah, I'd say it's tougher for sure. I mean, um, <coughs> coach spoke to just how tough these past couple of days were in the facility with for him and the coaches for not having all the guys in here uh, for all the time. And just when you, when you come off a loss like that, how it just kind of festers for a little bit and, and it hurts. Um, but I think, if anything, it gives you more motivation to go and attack that next week to um, give you that motivation to go out and get a win even more so. So even though it hurts for maybe that 24, 48 hours afterwards, we've turned the page and we're moving forward. And I feel like the energy and the focus that we've brought throughout these these past couple of days going into this week of work uh, has been really good. And we're looking forward to get down to Miami to get a win. Dolphins pass rush, looking at the tape, what makes him so difficult? What stands out to you? Yeah, um, I mean, they're, they're solid all, all, all throughout. And uh, the coaches talked about, you know, previous teams that they've had down there this is a different identity we feel like especially defensively like they're coming after the ball um, the mentality they play with uh, is is strong as fast as physical um, so, I mean wishing Phillips a, a quick recovery but you know having him and, and we're expecting Van Ginkle out there on the end too we know that he's no slouch and even though he's going to be the, the backup in that uh, in that position, uh, we know we got to be ready for him. And with Chubb on the other side, you know we got a lot to we got a lot to handle. So, coaches have done a good job with the game plan and how we're going to be, you know, f uh, attacking them. And you know, at all phases of their defense, they got good players. So we got to make sure that we're in tune with it. Thank you, Thank you guys.